episode one of how it was created. Nate, it's Winter Olympics time in the sports world. And we're going to talk about some of the obscure sports that we see in the Winter Olympics and how they were created. Yeah, I, I'm ready to rock. Let's get into it. All right, first sport is bobsled, bobsleigh. So you get the two and four individual bobsled teams I'm straight up just going to say this was a tobogganing on steroids. I mean, there, there's just no way around it. Yeah, you, you got to reckon it was probably somebody who just like got a little too excited, really, really like sledding. Yeah, and then uh, they're like, "Hey, how can we get 18 people in the middle of this thing?" Man, I, I just I think the Winter Olympics. I I, I think it was it came into fruition later than this, the Summer Olympics, but. A lot of these sports, just they were desperate for events. I mean, we look <laughs> top to bottom at the events that we're going to talk about, and yeah, they just kind of came up out of nowhere, and we're like, yeah, yeah, I think we can make that an event. And I think that the next one, luge and skeleton as well, where they go face first and kind of on their back um, going down a ice slide. I One, I don't know how you can you gain advantage in this. You know, <laughs> and, and two, you know, who tries this? Three, how did it... Who, it's got to be tobogganing is the root of these three. Oh, especially for luge, I think you... It's just an absolute red flag for yes. me. It's like if you're... How do you even begin to be like, all right, let's get into this thing and let's absolutely cruise down something that could only be found at Canada's Wonderland? Where, yeah, well, okay. First of all, how do you how do you get in? How do you enter the realm of bobsled and luge? And I mean, I haven't watched the, the Jamaican bobsled team documentary. I should check that out. But I mean, it's just such an obscure sport. We see it once every four years in the Winter Olympics. And so, are we just going to say that these three events were created through tobogganing? I guess we're going to have to. You know what else is a funny thing to think about is scouting on that. You know, it's like, yeah, my <laughs> God, he can skate down that thing better than anybody I've ever seen. Yeah. Like it's got to be exclusively off of times, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It has to be. There's no way anyone could be significantly better at sliding down with no control. It's uh, And we see people, you know, sadly pass away during these events. Yes. They're that insane. Uh, they get up to over 100 miles an hour going down these slides. And, I mean, I don't really understand any other way that this event could have been created other than just someone tobogganing and was like, toboggan races. Yeah, let's make it a little more extreme. Picture someone just with a Mountain Dew being like, all right, ice up that track. Yeah. <laughs> let's get at it a little more aggressively. Second event, Nate, mm -hmm. biathlon. Yeah, this one is, this thing is straight out of the war, man. Uh, th there's got to be some. a joke. There's some historic significance to this for sure. Well, it's about all they had back in the day, right? This has got to be, for me, this is event number one. You know what I mean? This, this strikes me as. Yeah, for just yes. the first thing that was ever yeah. in the Olympics. Yeah, just kind of traveling across snow on skis as fast as possible and then pulling up and just using a gun and shooting at things and then getting back and finishing the course. Yeah. Where does the gun come in? Like, why is that? so random. Why not just do a ski? Yeah, what, like, well, the cross country skiing wasn't good enough. Yeah. But you had to throw in a station where you sat down and shot at targets. <laughs> to me, it, it just, again, you know, you obviously have to be of some sort of age to start doing this. Like, it's not like 13 year olds are training with guns, or maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe people get into this at a young age. Yeah, it's hard to say. I mean, when you really think about it, too, it's like some sports, you think it's like, all right, well, if you want to practice hockey, you go down to the rink. It's like you want to play soccer, you go to the local soccer field. But, like, where is the entry-level program for this? Like, I wouldn't even know. I don't even think I could Google it no. and find somewhere to be. Where can I get into biathlons? It's crazy. It's crazy to me. Uh, yeah, and so we're thinking it originated from, from people coming back from the war who were... <laughs> I, I just... I, I, I mean, either, yeah, maybe they had to let off some steam. <laughs> I have no like, idea. This brings me back to Nam. <laughs> yeah. It's like there was no snow, but... It's just as good. I, I think we're going to have to go with that. It's just okay. going to be some sort of war thing. So we've got tobogganing. And, yes. And, 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 and just straight up war. War. <laughs> so the so third bring one on the third one. Is curling. Okay. And so this obviously is a sport where they slide on a knee on ice and throw a rock and try to get close. It's a shuffleboard-ish feel. Yeah. And I'm thinking that's the roots of it. The shuffleboard. But it's an Olympic sport. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, I always start to think when you think of these obscure ones, like you remember in like elementary school, you'd have like soccer, baseball. Yeah. Something like that. This one almost strikes me as someone who's like really wanted to be good at bowling. Okay. But just wasn't that good at bowling. Okay. So then they changed it up in a way that nobody else could do at the start. 
Yeah. I don't know, man. Like, curling is crazy. They're sliding on ice yeah. with rocks. If I kind of go back to the root of this, how it was created, I mean, it's honestly, these stories in history, I don't know if we have them or if it's in literature somewhere. It'd be crazy stories. But, like, sliding. Must have been played on a lake. It had to have been. Just throwing normal rocks on a lake. Sliding rocks on a lake? Yeah. Yeah. Unless it started after hockey rinks were around. Yeah. Or perhaps curling rinks were in, invented before hockey. I, I I have no idea. I I don't know. I don't know. It's it's such an obscure sport. It's it obviously takes a lot of talent. I mean, I've been curling and, and I just have too much heat on the rock. Like I don't have <laughs> any touch on the curling rink. And those things are heavy as heck. Yeah, they are. I've never gone, but it looks just absolutely outrageous. It's some tough. of the shots you see online too. Oh, or they, not they online, go but when you're watching rocks it. and stick it in the middle. It's oh, like, holy there's smoke. some crazy. I almost that makes me want to bring up like top ten curling shots right now and just see something wild because I've seen some just on highlights where it's just like it goes down, knocks off one, wedges between another, clears out everything on the other team, and then there's just sit there. You're like, how from that far? Yeah, did you get that going? Yeah, and you like it's just the hand movements of spinning, like drawing. Yeah, and, yeah and then you little... got the two guys on the. When do the guys on the brooms come into it? Is <laughs> what good. I want to know. That's a good point. <laughs> Good point. And, and it's like these things aren't sliding good enough. If only I had two men strapped with large brooms. And where do you learn the verbiage of curling? You know, yeah, there's two hey, words. Hey, hey! It's like, well, you know, it's like, and, and would you like me to do it hard? Yeah, yeah. Like, there's, I've never, you know, funny you bring that up because I've never heard like slower. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> like start sweeping the ice in front of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I get it. So slow that thing down. Yeah. It's like I can only do so much. It's a rock. Like, yeah. <laughs> It's like all I have is a thistled broom. Like I, there's not much I can do here, guys. It's unbelievable. Oh. The, yeah, the communication side of things. You'd have to take a class. It's on almost that. caveman esque. It is. <laughs> it is for sure. Anyway, yeah, that'll wrap up Hard. episode one of how it was created. So we're saying tobogganing, the war, in and sliding rocks on rocks. a local lake. <laughs> skipping rocks on a local lake. We'll see. You. Catch you next time for how it was created.